Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. So now that we've done the main mission... Ooh, ooh, hello. Now that we've done the main mission in the Sand Kingdom, it's night time and there are a few differences, like... Mummies just coming out of the ground to attack us. This is terrible! It's gotten so much colder! Now that the inverted pyramid is floating in the air, freezing winds are blasting out of that the huge pit where it was. So we should probably do something about that. The desert isn't safe at, at night. Ride a Jaxi if you need to leave town. We can actually do that, so I might actually do that now. How are you doing? I'm what you call a Jaxi. You want to ride? It'll be 30 coins, what do you say? Let's ride. So, what? You gonna, you're doing some sightseeing? You gotta check the inv out the inverted pyramid. Controls are a snap. B to break and Z ZL to dismount. I'll take off as soon as you are strapped in. But watch yourself, I go quick. And that is very true. The Jaxi goes very quick. Breaking is pretty much necessary. We can even take out the big cactuses that we couldn't before. We can even run on this uh, poison group stuff. We just go all over the place super fast. Which means we can get over to this pit over here very quickly. And actually, if I quickly just go over this way, I believe... Maybe I'm wrong. Hang on. I, may, I might just be wrong. But anyway, let's probably go into this pit in a second. Just want to see what these people say up here. I think there's something down there, but I'm not brave enough to jump in. Well, I am. And after a certain point, you just slide in, so... No getting out of that. So we have an underground area here that we need to go through. And let's see if we can get everything that we need. Ooh. Also ice physics, because everyone needs ice physics in their life. We can... Oh. We can break those blocks to walk underneath that pillar, or we could just jump around it. But I kind of bonked, so jumping around it isn't going to work. Instead, I'm just going to jump straight past it, apparently. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. Using Having the cap bounce is also probably good as well. Just so that you don't... Uh, just goes directly there. You can actually make two points. Hey, these feet don't slip on the ice. Yes, as a Goomba, we don't we don't slip. Ah, uh, but we will need to get a few more Goombas than this. We can also dash as a Goomba, which is nice. Now let's see if I can. Ooh, not do that. Okay, is there anything in one of the? Uh, hang on, hang on. Let me grab this pile again. Because if we uh, get out of our capturing ground pound immediately, we can just kill the enemies like that and just get some money from it. I guess I was wrong about them not giving money, but anyway. We have this bullet bill section over here, but we're probably going to skip most of it because we need to actually go over this way for something else. So, let's go up this little hidden path here and get some coins. And if we can stay up here, we can go down to the end here, hopefully not falling off. And there are some invisible blocks here. 
And if we can get up top, there's a treasure chest up here for us. So let's open that up and get another moon. Underground treasure chest. There's that thing that we saw from above ground which had the multi-moon in it. There's also this little hole thing in this thing. Like something's missing. And there's also some more coins here that we can get. If we don't just jump straight off the edge like that. I'm going to try and get those secret coins. There are secret coins on each of those pillars. Uh, they're invisible coins where you have to step over them to make them appear and then collect them. But, if I can actually make this work, grab a few of these. I mean, coins aren't that necessary, but they're still useful. But then, go over this way, and then up. Up a little bit more. No, and I fell all the way back down because I bonked. Gotta try that again. I know I can do this. I've done it before, and I didn't find it that difficult before. Okay, just need to make sure I get the top bounce right so I don't just fall off. Okay. That works better, but this is just a coin stack up here, which is very nice for just collecting a few coins. It's not a ton, but it's still worth getting it since it doesn't take that long. So, let's go over this way and see what this all has for us to do over here. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these bullet bills are wearing hats. You have to knock off the hats first. Where? Ring. Go. You take ring. And so we have a little boss here to fight. And if we can get it to slam one of these ice blocks. Ouch! It stuns the hand and we can actually capture the hand. So we need to go the, the direction that it, the hand came from. And hit it in the face. The hands control exactly like a bullet bill. Just need to dodge its attacks. And we should be alright. It has quite a f it has a few attacks. Like dropping those ice blocks on up onto us. And some of the ice blocks also have hearts in them if we need them. But right now, we're good, so let's just hit him in the face. Oh my goodness, I missed. How did I miss that much? I've never seen the back of its head before. Okay, just dodge everything. A lot of the uh buildings and walls around this world have had uh, depictions of this boss as well. Oh, be very careful, ow. Oh, ow. Hit this please, thank you. Let's go. And this is the last hit. Just need to dodge all the ice that it's being trying to throw at me, and there we go. That boss is not technically evil, because it was just trying to protect what was stolen by Bowser. Oh, yeah. Phew, it's so hot now, but I do suppose that's what we were trying to accomplish. If we keep up this pace, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. Do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, put me on the globe. So there we go. And now would be 
probably a good time to move on to the next kingdom, but I want to I want to stay here just a bit so I can explain a few more things. Starting off, Hint Toad. Hi Mario. To help out Princess Peach, I'm doing a survey of Power Moon locations. Having trouble finding Power Moons? I can help you out for 50 coins. Want to buy a hint? Thanks, I've marked it on your map, so take a look. We can pay this Hint Toad to get markers on a map of where moons are, which is very useful. Uh, this also means that if we look at the list, we can actually see which one is marked. So if we also have the name for it and the marker on the map, we'll know what to do basically at that place. We've also got this thing here. Uncle Amiibo. Hey kiddo, I'm Uncle Amiibo. Pleased to make your acquaintance and all that. Hey, you got any Amiibo? If you happen to have some, uh, put them to work. They're good at finding any stray power moons. And there's a kicker. Here's the, ki here's the kicker. Depending on the Amiibo you use, you might get a little bonus costume too. You want to tap an Amiibo? Let's do that. Okay, I've got a few here, so let's try them all out. I don't think I actually know what they all do, but anyway. Uh, oh, I need to actually hold hold the arrow as well as tap the thing. There we go. Let's see, that's why it's a good old Inkling Boy amiibo. You got it, I'll send this Inkling Boy amiibo out to look for a power moon. It's gonna take about five minutes to look, so come back in a bit. If you run into any trouble out there, you can tap an amiibo while pressing, uh, right, arrow. Can't promise miracles, but you get a little bonus, guaranteed. Well, let's not do that just now. Let's actually tap an another amiibo, because we can tap multiple amiibos at once. Meaning we're going to have a better thing at the end of this. Link amiibo. Send this link out to find a moon. Come back in five minutes. I want to tap another amiibo. And I don't know if this actually has any special effects, but it might. I think it is actually going to have a special effect. Let's see. Why, it's a good old Mario amiibo. Send this Mario amiibo to find a thing. This is kind of out of the blue, but... I've got a present for you. Uh, for introducing me to such a great amiibo. You want to try it on? Sure. That looks great on you. And hey... Don't be a stranger. So we get Mario's outfit, but in a, uh, a different color, which doesn't look very great, in my opinion. But anyway, now that we've taken out that ice boss, or, or that boss, just, I don't think it's ice. It's not ice related, but it's made of ice. But anyway, the ice in the whole world is gone, and it's now daytime again. Let's follow this little papo with a hat on. Where is it, boy? Where is it? Hang on, how do I quit? That one. We'll find... A power moon if we follow him. Found the sand, good dog. And I think there are more spots to dig up for coins. But this is all we need for... This doggo for now. Anyway. Let's go through this little hole back here. Which takes us into the back of the shop. We could see this moon when we came here last time, but I do want to point it out because it's employees only. So anyway, uh, I also forgot to get the last seed, which I will probably do soonish. I could, oh, I kind of want to get these now. Let's just do it. If we spin those flower buds, we get moons from each of them. So it probably would have been a good idea to get the other seed, because they do take time to actually grow. So I was hoping to get them all in one go. But anyway, there's also some more purple coins in this fountain now that it's unfrozen. Oh, I missed that one. How did I miss that one? There we go. And also, the top of the fountain is glowing slightly, so if we hold Cappy on it for a little bit... Another power moon, and also one way up in the sky that we can see from here. Hang your hat on the fountain. 
Now, I don't actually know how many how many moons I'm gonna get before moving on. And I'm a bit concerned that I'm just gonna stay here forever. It's not that long, I guess. And I do like getting everything in one go. I don't know if I'll get all of them now, but... It depends on how quickly I can stop myself from getting them all. <laughs> it's gonna be completely random. I'm... yeah. I have no idea if I'm not gonna get them all or if I'm, I am gonna get them all. Anyway, let's just get everything in here, including these purple coins. Oh, that was a nearly bad idea. That was a really bad idea. We don't get to keep Cappy in this level because we put Cap Cappy on the Scarecrow thing so that we could keep going because he makes a platform for us. Uh, but if we go up here, getting a life heart as well, there's a hidden block up here and on top of that is a Power Moon. Above a strange neighborhood. It is quite a strange neighborhood. It is kind of everything turning. And also there's purple coins on that platform there. That's what they get. So, if we can get onto this platform maybe. And grab these purple coins. And then just wait a little bit longer. We can get up here. Let's just get off of this before I die. So there we go. Strange neighborhood. Hey! Don't leave without me! I can't leave without you. But anyway, let's go. Taking this rocket capture, which is really cool. Okay. Let's see. Can I capture this, please? Oh. Close enough? Yes. If we hold a direction as we're moving on the electric wire, we can also grab coins, and sometimes moons. If they are connected to the coins, but, you know. Now... I believe the Jaxi is also... not here, but if we go up to one of its signs and call for the Jaxi, we can call the Jaxi from anywhere. Which is very useful. Now, let me grab... All of these Goombas that I can because we need them. For a moon. If a Goomba is wearing a hat, you can just jump onto it anyway. And still collect the Goomba in your stack. Now let's see if I can actually go this way. We could go along the platform, which is probably the better plan than just using the the sand thing over there. Either way works. They probably get there about the same amount of time, but we need to get the Goomba stack up to this... Lady Goomba here. And she gives us a Power Moon. And then we murdered all of the Goombas. Just like that. Love in the heart of the desert. Now, let me... Quickly... See what I'm doing. So I can get over here. And if we grab one of these bullet bills and go through this little hole here... Oh my goodness. We can crash into this cage and get this one. Bullet bill breakthrough. Okay. And... I'm just gonna do everything while I'm here, apparently. If we go over here, we can see there's a little gap underneath the wall here, but we need to keep jumping, otherwise we're gonna die. And we can get into the secret room over here. For a power moon. You can also roll into sideways pipes to go down those faster. But I didn't do that there because that's fine. Let's just go into this hole which looks perfectly safe. And saying it was perfectly safe was a bit of a joke because it does not look safe. It looks like death. But somehow it's secret level. Anyway, let's grab those purple coins. I don't think there are any more over that way, is there? No, that's just an empty path. There might be invisible coins, though, like that. Okay, oh my goodness. Have to not get crushed by these things. And go this way. I believe there's also a, quite a few coins that we can get if we get all the way through here. Yeah, I can't get those coins up there just yet, but I can probably come back for them. 
once I figure out where to go. So, let's go this way and grab these ones. And then if we can wall jump between these two platforms enough. Oh, please, come on. Just gonna do that to make it easier. Okay, well now that we're up here, there's a power moon up here that we can get. Otherwise this place is completely pointless because there's no power moon down there. Ice cave treasure. And I don't think there are any other power moons in here, which is surprising because that means there's only one power moon in here. But anyway, if we go over this end though, I want to get these coins. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Just have to head back though. So that we can get out of here. Very nice. I bonked into that wall and I still went through somehow. Anyway, if we're going through that area, we also end up up here, where there's another power moon. The treasure of the J Jaxi ruins. There's also another Jaxi here that we can take, and actually, there's this bird here, and I missed it, that's okay. Um, actually I might still be able to get it. Yep, got it. Which has a power moon in it, if we hit it with anything, basically. Bird traveling the wastes. Grab these purple coins, and now... There's so many things I can do everywhere. Hang on. Let's... Actually turn around. Turn around. We can do a lot of turning with this... thing. But anyway, this is a timer challenge where we put Cappy onto something, so we can't use him for it. And now we have to get to the power moon before time runs out, which means we're just going to use this thing and it's going to make it super easy. Just like that. Anyway, over this way though, if we go into this little hole here, is the seed that we're missing, so we can take this back to the town now. If I can get there by walking all the way there. <laughs> I love walking. It's my favorite thing. This is why I should have got it earlier, and it's not that hard. But I wanted to do the actual ruins there first. Okay. And also here's some moons that we've collected already. And that's what they look like when you've already collected them. I believe they give like three coins? Or a little bit more. Okay. So it's not as bad as I thought, but it is still not really necessary. Okay, now, if I can actually get back to the Jaxi, which is probably not where I left where I left it. There's a few more things I can do. Oh, it is there. Okay. So, let's get onto this. And now... Let's head into the Jaxi ruins over here. Let's go. And this is another secret level for us. Okay. So. This is a Jaxi secret level. Oh, we can shake to slow down. That seems like a bad move. Why just not just press B? B is the way to go. But we need to get through this whole thing without falling off of any edges. And also getting everything that we need... And we can't break forever, so we have to be very careful with how we break. Okay. Once we get one of those... Uh... Treble clefts... These... Notes will appear and we can collect them. We get them all, we get... A power moon. Just like, uh, the... Taking notes in... Super Mario Galaxy. Jaxi stunt driving. Now I'm going to see if I can take the shortcut, because the shortcut has purple coins on it for me. Just need to not fall off the edge. And grab those, and then turn at the very last second, pretty much. So that we can go this way. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, turning is fun. Okay. And that's that secret level done. So let's go check out what that tower is over there. I don't think we can get that particular moon right now. There's a few ways of getting it. Obviously jumping down from way up there. But there's some other way we can do that. But there's also this painting here on the side of the pillar that we can enter. Is this a different kingdom? Where are we? Very Super Mario 64 style. But anyway, we've got a secret path to New York City. But we can't go there. So, let's just head back through this painting. And it also plays that uh, teleport teleporting cutscene every single time. Literally every single time. Anyway, over here we have a cactus with a little green thing on top of it, and that green thing means that we can move the cactus for a little bit. Not very much, but you know, just enough. Just gonna move it as much as possible before it kicks me out. And let's get this power moon right here. Wandering cactus. Okay, turning, turning, and then stop. Oh, you, were you talking... Were you taking me to see my family? You old softy. I appreciate your kind gesture. Come see me again anytime. Jaxi reunion. I like this one. It's very out of the way to get, but it's very nice. Now, am I crazy, or does this bird here have another moon for me? I might just be crazy, but I have to check anyway, because it's coming my way. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, Cappy, 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 no, Cappy, no. Cappy, no. Why, Cappy? Why? Okay, we have another pass. We have another chance to get it. Yeah, there we go. It does have another moon for me. This one is a different bird, I guess. Bird traveling the desert. We've also got this little mount here with the birds on it, which if we ground pound we get another moon. We could have come to this oasis earlier, but these purple coins would have been frozen in the water, so... We can get them now, though. And also... Grab this flag so we can teleport back here. There's a few other things we can do, like capture... This... Uh, like Lakitu. Now let's drop this line in. We can see a few shadows on the bottom of the water here. Uh, but we want the big one. If we can get the big one. There it is. We can press Y to drop our line and then when it bites, we get an actual bite. We can reel it in by pressing Y, like y again or shaking. Are you not going to notice my thing? You really aren't. Okay. It's a little bit annoying that if you startle it, they're all going to disappear. Okay, there we go. Let me drop that there. I'm pretty sure I can... take it to the fish. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? Come on. There we go. And once it bites fully, or possibly just bites a little bit, yeah, we can reel in. Oh, I... Uh, why did I... How did I uncapture? I must have accidentally pressed one of the back buttons. Oh, well. I have to get that fish to reappear so I can actually get it this time. Come on, there we go, and we get a key cheap cheap, which gives us another moon. 
But fishing does not end there, because if we take Lakitu over this way... Do -do 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 -do. There are some more fish in the sand up here. And let's try and catch the big one over here. Oh my goodness, I'm bad at this, apparently. I don't remember being bad at this, but I guess I am bad at this. Come on. Come on, fishy. Fishy. Please, fishy. Fish, please. Please, fish. There we go, and it's Captain Toad. I got buried down there. I'm so lucky you came along. Oh, but I found a power moon under the sand. Thanks for the rescue. Yeah. And he gives us... You're quite a catch, Captain Toad. Oh my goodness. Anyway. That's all that, so let's keep moving. And there's actually... Another moon here to get. Up in the trees. So, if we can actually get up there. And stay up here. Let's activate that. And then get... All these notes, which shouldn't be too difficult if we're shaking our controller to collect them. And there we go. So let's grab that one. Okay, so now that we have all of that, I'm still missing some purple coins. And actually, I think I should head up to... Oh, I didn't... Oh dear, I didn't... Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. Oh dear. What have I done? It's fine. I'll figure it out. Anyway, also, there's just a line going all the way from town to up here now. And also a line going from here up to the pyramid. So, I was panicking because I couldn't get to the pyramid before. But also, I still can, so. Also, this lizard capture thing. We can glide by pressing B in mid-air for it. Oh, I failed. I failed, I failed. And if you shake your controller while you're gliding, you can actually get a little bit of extra height, which is actually very useful later on. Although I don't know if I can actually make that ha happen. So I'll see about that. But anyway, let me grab this moon if I can. There we go. On the lone pillar. Teleporting is going to be very useful as we go. There's going to be a lot of times so where we just need to get back up quickly, so... Let's head up to the top of the pyramid. There's also a slingshot down on the ground somewhere that you can throw Cappy into to launch yourself. I'm sure there's a, a thing up here somewhere. A, uh, a flag, but I can't... I don't know where it is. Am I wrong about that? I might just be wrong about that. And I don't know why I think there would be one here. But anyway, up here is a little lump in the ground that is running away from us. We need to hit that with, hap, hit that with Cappy and then ground pound it. If I can actually ground pound it properly. And we get a Power Moon. The Lurker under the stone. And over here is a, a glowing tail. So let's get that. On the statue's tail. Uh, I got the purple coins that are up here. Uh, the only other thing we can do up here is head over to this Jaxi uh, spot over here. So let's call it. And let's park it where it fits perfectly right here. Just like the rest of them. I know this place, but my days of standing around are done. And we get another Power Moon. Welcome back, Jaxie. But anyway, I think that's it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.